It's 8 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Two men and a baby could soon be the recipe for a new family. A local doctor explains how men really could have a biological child without a woman or her eggs. Welcome back. It's 814 right now. You know, science has come a long way. So much so that scientists, believe it or not, are now testing out some new technology that could allow men to have children without a woman. And Dr. Jamin Brombat from Pure Clinic is joining us here to explain this morning. This is just bizarre to me. It, it reminds me of the movie Junior with Arnold Schwarzenegger. With him and Danny DeVito. Was it Danny DeVito? Danny DeVito Arnold yes, Schwarzenegger. Okay. So if you remember in the early 90s, there was uh, the, the movie Junior starring right. both those two stars. And in that movie, Schwarzenegger basically had a baby. Right. So back then, we were just kind of laughing it off as a comedy. But today, thanks to research from the University of Cambridge, we're one baby step away from this actually becoming a reality. Now, Amy, imagine women beyond their fertility years being able to have their own kids with their own gene pool. Couples affected by infertility due to chemotherapy. Sure. Or males that want to continue living a single life. Or gay couples being able to have babies with their own gene pool. But so how does this work? Because you still have to have a womb. The baby has to grow somewhere in a, in a healthy, safe environment. How do you make yeah. this happen? So you're right. The baby, you still need a womb, and there's actually research being done on wombs outside the woman's body. However, you still, you know, if you think about it, the whole process of fertilization is like building Lego blocks. Okay. So you have these first two essential Lego blocks that come together, and then the rest of the body is built, and then you see that perfect specimen, which is the baby. But the first two Lego blocks for us, from a first for fertilization standpoint, is a sperm and the egg. What these researchers were able to do is basically in a lab, in a petri dish, create some of those same tissues, those same cells that would come from sperm and eggs, so basically bypassing the need for both of those. Hmm. Does this make you nervous? Um, it, it does make me nervous and obviously anything that has to do with stem cells. So what they were able to do is basically get tissue from skin and using stem cells create some of those pre, um, early on cells. So obviously the use of stem cells is controversial. However, infertility is a very common disease. As an advocate for men's health, um, specializing in infertility, I see several couples a year that have been affected by, let's say, testicular cancer, and then they got chemotherapy, and now the guy is not able to have his own children. So in that case, I think this is an option for them where usually they have no option. All right. Dr. Jamin Brombat from the Pure Clinic. Always Thank a pleasure. You. Thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate your expertise. Your website, please. Our website is purclinic.com, or we can continue the conversation on Twitter at Jamin Brombat. Great. Thanks.